We want to verify something before you light those sparklers. There are social media posts online showing parents how you can best protect your hands from getting burned or maybe the little hands for those kids. So the first post we found on Pinterest, some people are using plastic solo cups as a hand protector. See what they did there? It's a very popular hack and we spoke with Columbus Fire Deputy Chief Jeffrey Guider who says there's a big concern with this. I mean, I know they're trying to protect from sparks, but yeah, it doesn't take much. You've, you've had a solo cup or, you know, other plastic styrofoam cups that got near a campfire or something. You see how quickly they melt. And so that, that would be my concern is I understand by that picture what they're trying to express, but uh, I, I wouldn't try to manipulate how it was intended. So we can verify that this one, according to fire officials, is likely more dangerous than protective. All right, there was another post to be found with a unique twist to protect those hands. Look at this. We found this in a Grove City Facebook page post. Hmm, stick sparklers at the end of a carrot. What? Well, we also spoke with Deputy Chief Guider about this idea, and here's his reaction when one of our producers showed this post to him. Hmm. What do you think of that? That's not terrible. I mean, it's it's not flammable. If you're if you're utilizing it how it's intended, uh, part of that would be you know the education part. The kids, you know, the sparklers, those get up to 2,000 degrees, and so making sure you're only holding on to the spot where you're supposed to hold it is really important. Hmm. All right. So a carrot. While a little creative, Guider says use sparklers again as they were intended. Uh, so not with a carrot or a cucumber or whatever other vegetable you want to try. Even if the sparkler stops burning, he says, do not touch it. Get that bucket of water nearby so you can just throw the sparkler right into it. If you have something you want us to verify, just send it to verify at 10tv.com.